Typhoon Halong is one of the strongest storms of the decade. This morning, local time, 1 a.m. Japan Standard Time, this November 6, winds estimate of 190 miles per hour, pressure of 890 millibars. A very strong typhoon, clearly a Category 5 storm, and on the CDPS scale, we're looking at Minami Torishima for possible landfall on November 7th. If it did so, it would be a Stage 5 on the CDPS. Nonetheless, 10 inches of rain, that's 250 millimeters, are expected on the very small island. No other land areas are at risk. Here is the storm's current position, 20.1 north, 150.6 degrees east, a rather small wind field for a storm of this intensity, um, but its mind-blowing intensity is the main talking point of this storm. It is currently 331 miles from Agrihan in the northern Mariana Islands, 363 from Minami Torishima, 670 from Iwo Jima, 721 from Agasawara, and 1263 far away from Tokyo. Here is the storm then. Uh, no warnings are in effect at this point. Um, none of the Northern Mariana Islands under any kind of watches or warnings. And I doubt there'll be any coming into effect for the Agasawara Islands of Japan. But we'll keep watching just in case there's a change. So looking at what models are saying over the next seven days, there's a pretty clear cut evolution of this storm. Um, you'll see it turning towards the north there, still moving west-northwest at the moment at about five miles per hour, but it will start turning north and then um, should move off towards the northeast rather quickly we should expect by the later part of this week. You can see the pink areas there denoting rainfall amounts of over 3 inches, 75 millimeters and as I say 250 millimeters possible in Minami, Torishima and everywhere else will be open ocean. Sea surface temperatures have really done this storm good as well, 28 or 29 degrees Celsius with high ocean heat content underneath. Um, and that is what has propelled this storm to being probably in the top three most intense and um, strongest storms of this decade. And there it is again moving off towards the north. This is the GFS model calling for rapid weakening actually. Um, and by the time we get to Thursday or Friday it will be weakening to a tropical storm and possibly barely even a tropical storm by the end of Friday. Remarkable how that could uh, happen so quickly. We'll wait and see whether that actually remains the case and potentially maybe the beginnings of another storm there late weekend in the Philippine Sea. Um, so, well, these are the chances of tropical storm force winds. Now, we usually illuminate land areas, but because there is no land in sight, then uh, we're looking at a black screen there. 61% chance of tropical storm force winds nonetheless at Minami Torishima and no other areas with any significant chances at all. So the model's lagging well behind um, as you'd expect with the most intense storm like this um, but they're generally saying that weakening will commence very soon. It is true that it's only got a very short window maybe 6 or 12 hours more of potential strengthening. Wind shear is marginal. Sea surface temperatures are well, marginal for a storm of this intensity, relative humidity is average. You see, interestingly, the HWRF going out on a limb there, taking the storm further towards the west and then hooking back east. Here is the storm, latest satellite imagery, uh, gradual movement west-northwest there. You can see the eye shrinking in those latest frames. The cloud tops have been remarkable. Um, a, a cloud top of minus 82 all the way around the storm. Um, which is typically with an, with an eye temperature of 19 or 20 degrees Celsius along with that. That is typically an indication of a 190 mile per hour storm or higher. Indeed, raw satellite values had as high as 196 earlier, but it looks unlikely that the number would be as high as that. That's all for now. We'll have more updates on this storm. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.